So let us take a deep dive on Euclidean geometry. This video is going to talk about the first theorem of Euclidean geometry. We'll be talking about an actual proof and we'll also try out an example to explain the proof. The first theorem of Euclidean geometry is going to look like this. You'll be asked in question to prove the statement that if a line is drawn from the center of the circle perpendicular to the chord, then it bisects the chord. Now, a couple of things that you'll be given is O is the center of the circle. In this particular theorem, you're told that OM is perpendicular to AB, which makes that 90 degrees you're required to prove that AM is equals to MB. The first thing you have to do is to construct. We're going to construct a line connecting O and A and O and B. The reason for that is because when you draw those lines, they form your radiuses. And they also create two separate triangles. We have triangle OMA and triangle OMB. Now with those two triangles, that can help us prove that AM is equals to MB. So we're working with triangle OMA and triangle OMB. So the goal of this proof is to prove that OMA is congruent to triangle OMB. Now, if we're able to prove that, therefore, AM would be equals to MB. So the first statement is angle M of OMA and angle M of OMB are equal. They are equal to 90 degrees. The reason for that is because it was given that OM is perpendicular to A. The second statement that is true is we have OA equals to OB because they are both radiuses. Both triangles have OM, so therefore it's a common side. With three statements, we can say with confidence that the triangle OMA is congruent to triangle OMB. Now, because they are equal, it also means that AM would be equals to MB. And that's it. So this is how you prove the theorem perpendicular lines from the center by sex accord. Up next, we're going to try out an example. I hope this helps. Now we've talked about how to prove the theorem. How do we actually apply these theorems in questions? And that's what we're going to talk about in this particular question. So we have a circle. From this circle here, you can see that OQ is perpendicular to PR at S. We were given that QS is 2 units and we were also given that PR is 12 units. The question was asking us to find what your X is. Now from here, if we're using the theorems that we just did right now, we understand that PS would be 6 and SR would be 6. The reason for that is perpendicular from center by sex cord. If we extract that triangle from here, this is how it's going to look. But going back to the original circle itself, we understand that our radius OP here is X. And if OP is X, OQ should also be the same. The reason is because they are both radiuses, so they should have equal value. If this whole length over here is x, it would mean that the distance from here to here would be x minus 2, because we can subtract 2 from this entire length to give us just that piece over there. Back to our triangle over here, SO would be x minus 2. Normally, whenever you have a triangle, which is a right angle triangle, rules of Pythagoras applies and the rules of Pythagoras says that so all we just need to do now is substitute
And that would be your answer for X. X would be equals to 10. And this is how you can use the first theorem to answer a particular question. Without this, you should have a better understanding of how to treat the first theorem of Euclidean geometry. Now, the theorems are not used in isolation. I'm going to try my best to cover all theorems that you're going to need in Euclidean geometry. And at the end of every single one of them, I'll do a question to explain how these theorems can work in tandem. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it. Thank you.